I know you may argue with us, but this woman is a force to reckon with. Not a perfect mother, but really, whose mother is truly perfect? What she is, is a mother who is doing the best she can in a world where right is wrong and wrong is right. She and her family changed reality TV and raised the standards forever. Whenever the history of this genre of entertainment will be written, keeping up with the Kardashians will be at the forefront. We may not see her as a great mother, but really, look at her kids. She got an opportunity and used it to push them to the top. Even if you don't agree with her mommy's style, you can't deny she's a style queen. Over the years, Kris Jenner has recreated style and fashion for matured women who want to be chic and unique. From the pert and sophisticated hairstyle that shows maturity and elegance to those lovely suits that we love so much, be it skirt or trousers, to those amazing evening attires that are simply tasteful. From her not so great reputation, one would think she would always be in skimpy and bare all outfits some celebs are forever singing, no matter what their age is. But not this woman. She has a way of wearing her short dresses that doesn't seem shameful at all. No wonder all her girls are fashion icons like her. If you're a woman in your 50s, 60s and want to look graceful, sexy, elegant, it's easy. Just copy Kris Jenner. She loves you. Hello everybody and welcome to Amber World. It's going to be another exciting day on Amber World today. And sitting with me is um, one of the finest from our own music industry. Skibi, you're welcome to Amber World. Yes, 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. Wow. I'm okay. Yeah, I I'm can right. see that. <laughs> you understand? How are you doing? I'm fine. Choma for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> the hustle is real. It is. <laughs> for real. Okay, um, I'm going to start by asking you to tell us a little bit about your background, you know, okay. where you come from and all that. Okay, um, Skibi Mayana, aka, okay, let me say, I'll be Elias, uh -huh. aka Skibi Mayana. Okay. You understand, is from Sule, uh -huh. Lagos, you know, from Five Star to More Grace Music, from More Grace Music to the world. Wow. You already know. Okay, tell us a little bit about your childhood. Ah, my childhood, oh God, I don't want to be talking about it, you understand? It's not Why been not? easy though, because it's been rough, kind of. Yeah, of course. Well. You know, from my primary school, mm -hmm. I went to um, Victoria Children's School, yeah. Ijesha Sule, okay. um, secondary school, Government College Lagos, mm -hmm. that's GCL, Eric Moore. Um, then from there to University of Adwekiti. Then from University of Adukiti <laughs> to Five Star Music. <laughs> wow. Then Five Star Music to More Grace Music, you understand? Okay. And we're here right now, man. Okay, good. So tell us, I'm coming into the... While you were in the university, you know, all, all mm -hmm. through your childhood, and all the rough patches you had to go through, mm -hmm. did you ever think you were going to become an artist? Okay, from... I think um, I already know. You understand? Because I knew when I was in secondary school. Okay. Yeah, that's government college. We used to we used to rap back then. You know, as a rapper, we work. You understand? So we had to switch to singing because I realized that I sing better than than rapping. So okay. so I moved to that, and um, five star found me so Larry. You know where I was. I think I was performing somewhere. Then Casey saw me, and he told um, Soso, his manager, his ex-manager, to to look for me. You know, so that was how they found me somewhere in Sule. Wow. And um, the first day I met Casey was at the airport. You know, Soso called me at, um, "What am I doing on Saturday?" I said, "Nothing really." He said, "Casey." wants to see me. Can I travel with Casey on Saturday? I said, I don't mind. <laughs> then the first time I saw Casey was at the airport and we traveled to a, a Saba together. And when I saw him, he saw me, he said, Skibby, right? I said, yes. I said, oh, My guy, <laughs> let's go. Okay. Then, then we got on the plane and he started, started asking me 
how many songs do you have? You know, have you been recording? And I started playing my songs for him. That was how I met Five Star. Mm -hmm. Okay, before this, before you met Five Star, mm -hmm. how challenging was, have you been trying to, you know, get, uh, break into the industry? Yes, I've been trying. It's how much challenging more. was it? Tell us. It was hard, though. You <laughs> understand? As in, very hard, man. I met someone called um, Funky Beat okay. back then when I was in Solo, so he saw me and um, he liked me, you know. He said, ah, I like the way they sing. Ah, what's it, what's it, what's it? Ah. Okay, I have a studio in Body Thomas, and you, you can always come there and use it for free. But before that time, before I met him, you know, I've been trying to record myself, you know. I met a guy, a producer called D1. You know, I gave him my system, my Pentium 4 computer, <laughs> just to record two songs. <laughs> Try, I don't suffer. Sure. <laughs> you understand? From way back, it's not been easy though, but yeah. we thank God for today now. Wow. You know. So, what would you say is your um, turning point in the industry? When did you realize that? Wow, is that actually going to make You know, it? when I f the first time I met Five Star Music, okay. I started rolling with Five Star for for like a year and more. You get even before. I got signed officially. You get so I've been, I've been, I've been around. So people see me around like, and back then I used to enter bus from Suli <laughs> that time. <laughs> and when I enter bus, you know, I used to enter bus like it's nothing, you know, yeah. like the normal Suli yeah. guy. Yeah. Until yeah. somebody now said, "Ask me, Baba, my father." <laughs> <laughs> That's when I said, "Ah, <laughs> I don't fear that bus again." <laughs> You get so, you know, the wow. growth has not been easy, but yeah. we thank God for today. So, what made you hold on? You know, with all this, what made you hold on to this dream? Of because I already business? know that it's going to happen, but I don't know how. But you just Olu, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you just knew that if you continue working hard, you understand. I just, I just focus, and I keep working. You know, a lot of people say shit to me, but I keep moving. Okay. You understand? And I met Casey. That was where it all started, you know. And from there, come begin to meet other people too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much, people. We'd have to go for a short break. We'll send you back and go away. Hello everyone, my name is Ajeba. Right now you are watching Ambao. Don't touch that dial. If you touch that dial, oh, what's going to happen? Not just touch that dial. But you cut 10 around for me. It's the tunes again. Now money cost you water. Now why you look good? 
se fue Adelina lo va a sudar Um, I think the first one, ah, Skivy, yeah. Skivy, Skivy, <laughs> featuring Olam Day, you get me, so, so I didn't even believe people would like the song like that, you know, because I had one other song I wanted to drop that time, that so I would say, ah, I want to drop this song, let me drop this song, what I said, that okay, wait, that that no, it's not even out yet, why not? You know, you have to study the market. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? What is trendy. Mm -hmm. So, when I, when I dropped that, okay, you know that was a remix. Oh, okay. I didn't know the song was going to be like that until I featured Olamide on it. Okay. You understand? Then I say, ah, Olamide too cute the song. I say, okay, yes, mm -hmm. this is complete <laughs> fish. Catfish for my people to chop. You know that? We took it to the street and the acceptance was crazy, you know. Crazy. Mm. So how do you relax when you're not working? Um watch T V, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sometimes I I swim. <laughs> I play games, you know. Okay. Movies and stuff. Play games, watch films. Mm. Okay. And still record <laughs> In between, I still record. Oh, okay. Even when I'm when I'm relaxing, I'm working. Okay, let's talk about your new music. Mhm. Mm Ski bo bo. <laughs> Ski bo 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 well, bo. Uh, congratulations! I know that that's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think Big. this Ski bo bo is is disturbing the town. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So what inspired you to do that? Um, it was a vibe, you know. I was just trying to um trying to make a love song. And at the same time still trying to vibe. You get me? Mm -hmm. So um if you listen to the song you hear I'll fly over the moon for you. Yeah. I'll do anything for you. Ski bo 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 uh, EAD, EAD, and he killed it. Yeah, it's yeah. fresh. You know, yeah. you see fresh, fresh things, fresh girls, money flowing around, sh champagne popping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, sometime when you moved from five star to mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. so why did you leave your record label? Okay, um. I've always wanted to have my own record label, even before I joined Five Star Music. Yeah. I've always wanted to have my own thing and get to sign people and you understand, but you know when you don't get power to do anything, you have to 
you have to learn you know i didn't just jump into having a record label mm -hmm. i i study the market i learn you understand <laughs> and i i think it's time so that's why I moved. I have to, it's time to do my own thing and make my dream come true. You get me? So it's not any beef or anything. You get me? So, so you all are still in good health, friends, of course, family? Of course. Wow. I was with e money two days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I went for a show on the mainland. Okay. So he was around. Then he called me that. What you do? I, I did see your poster here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I did. I said, you know, mm -hmm. I'm cool with everybody, even Ari Song. Okay. He's my guy. You understand? So, we, I'm even um, going to support him tomorrow for for a show. I think he's having something like a birthday, whatever. Yeah, okay. So, I'll be there. So, mm -hmm. I'm cool with everybody. Okay. That's actually very relieving to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, you know, there are a lot of youth out there, like you said, you love to sign people. There are a lot of youth out there who, by the virtue of what you do, look up to you. Yeah. You cannot run away from that. True that. So what can you tell them to help them hold on to their dreams? Because right now they are passing through, you know, that rough state you pass through. Oh, well, it must rough. <laughs> you understand? If you know rough, you know go pure. <laughs> you get me? So you have to just keep your head up. I have a tattoo here. It says, winners don't quit. You understand? So... My brother, my sister. If you know you are doing something and you believe in it, I'm all I'm strong. Keep pushing me. One day, that time, your time will come. Yeah. You get me? No shaking. Focus. Focus. Okay, one last question before we go. Let's say, um, oh, several other questions. Yes, sir. we can't just go like that. Let's keep you married. For oh, where? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm married. So tell us, um, let's say, if you were to choose a wife today, what kind of woman would you choose? Ah, yeah, I don't do like that. Eh? Because if you are looking for this particular, you go tell. Because, you know, you meet people every day. So what are you saying? That anything that comes when you're ready? No, 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 I have my spec. <laughs> Money speculation. Oh, speculation. <laughs> I have my spec, you understand? But, but it's whoever God says it is. You understand? I ain't gonna happen. So, what they're trying to get is what is your spec? Oh, you want to know my spec? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like leopard too bad. I'm a too gringo. You understand? Smooth, straight up, shapey, curvy girl. Sexy, sweet, lovely, beautiful. You get me? <laughs> then you guys get a good character too. You understand? By the side, fear of God. Now, as if you don't really fear God, I'll take you to mosque. You understand? I will Put it in your mind. You get me? I'll make you fear. You must fear. You must fear, Baba. And you so, really get this combination beautiful sleep. Of course, there are plenty now. Uh uh. Okay. There are plenty. If you know fear God, we go make you fear. You must fear. <laughs> you understand? So I think sometimes you you can design your own woman the way you want it. Do you really think if, you if, can rebuild a grown woman who is if if you grown? yes. You know, women can do anything for love. If love did you, if love did, and you say, Madam, not like this with a go, are you going or going? You understand? <laughs> so she don't get choice. She has joined the train because Ladies. because because <laughs> she she yeah they can she's ready for you. You get me? So it is what it is. But you're not even afraid that yes, at first when you meet her, she's ready to change and do all that, you know, to get married. So that means I can. in the middle. Like in the middle. People say you don't learn how to use left hand when you are already grown. In the middle. She decides to. It's not really her. You know, she did it at that stage because. Because she, she wants to marry. <laughs> so now you don't marry. You want to go back. Yeah. You are going no more. It's not easy. It's not easy it's to easy. go home at that time. You know. You see. You see. Maybe. Maybe these With days. Like three children in maybe. Between. Maybe these <laughs> days. Eh? Yeah. Maybe these days. You know. It's kind of hard, but you see, our uh, mama time them. The way that they take marriage, they take it very serious. They don't, yeah, they don't no joke with what. it. They don't want. They stick to whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever you want. You get me? Mm -hmm. Because they want to love you. They want to be with you for the rest of their life. I mean, so I want to be with you, so you have to comply. Everything. It's okay. So now your turn. 
Ah. Uh, three things we don't know about you because I believe we know, you know, by the virtue of what you do, but there must be some secrets. Secrets? Yes, that's what I'm secrets. calling for. Three secrets. People, your fans don't know about you. Ah. Uh, the things I think they don't know about me is they don't know I work every day. Yeah. You understand? I, I you know that. I, no, you don't know that because. <laughs> Because, you know, on, on social media, I post chopping life pictures, living the life, you understand? Well, I know they post the work. You don't know that I work every Everything, day. Yeah. So, I have like, like 200 songs recorded. Wow. You understand? Complete, too. Complete songs, you understand? Mm -hmm. And... Um, I sleep naked. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you see this one. Eh? You will need a Yoruba person to translate for you. Mm, he's Yoruba. He translates. Uh, you tell Lalita <laughs> and viewers at home find a Yoruba friend. <laughs> I have a big farm in Yoruba. You understand? Ask anybody. They'll tell you. But you people don't know that. I have a big farm. Do you remember? Go and do your research. <laughs> you tell me later. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Um, now we know the things that yes, we know about Skibi before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Barrod. See you guys later. Same time next week. Bye. God bless you, man. Anything you guys want in the store is free, so I'll grab whatever you guys want. I don't wanna die for them to miss me.